Hello YouTube family, this is actually a part two. I dove really deep into the research on why hypercapnic training is potentially beneficial for you. Now, first of all, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a bathing suit. I'm actually on a boat right now. Do you see the light shifting back and forth? I just want to let you know that because uh, it's a little crazy. I'm a personal trainer by trade, and I'm actually on a boat with a couple of clients, and I'm recording these YouTube videos in my cabin. How cool is this? And I have this amazing little window, and in fact, at the end of the video, I'll show you what I'm looking at right now and using it as my light. Um, other YouTubers out there and like if you're ever in front of an oval window, it's actually really nice light. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm in a bathing suit, but also I can demonstrate to you my muscle contractions while I go through these movements. Now in the previous video, I spoke of the fact that if you can increase your carbon dioxide levels in your body while you're working out, even at a lower intensity, you can trick your body into thinking that it's working at a higher intensity and by implementing the Bohr effect, which is ultimately carbon dioxide is going up, oxygen is slightly lowering in the blood, and then increased oxygen is delivered to your muscles in your brain while you're working out. Now, there are many of you who maybe came onto this video because I because you see low impact, high intensity, fat burning exercise. That sounds really cool, but is it a gimmick or is it real? I just finished my first pilot study postgraduately. I'm an exercise science nerd. I certainly don't know everything. I'm I'm open to debate. In fact, please let's uh, comment underneath this YouTube video because I would like to talk about this more. But what we found is in the experimental group with the whoa, the breath stability exercise, with the breath work and exercise, we saw increased fat loss, increased strength gain, and, in, um, and increased meta resting metabolic rate. So extremely exciting. And we did not measure the carbon dioxide, but I've been measure measuring carbon dioxide levels in real time with a capno trainer with my clients for a long time and also in myself and i have seen that this is a that this is a constant in terms of what the breath work does to the body during exercise and in my opinion it's one of the main factors driving these changes now why am i holding my little hypoxix bag well hypoxix please join me at hypoxix.studio to take classes with me or hypoxix.fitness to join the free community and i'm very interactive on there also if you're a trainer you may have stopped by this video because you have quite a bit of exercise science knowledge take the breathing core my continuing education unit class course where i teach you how to use your your breath to activate your core and strengthen your core and you can use that with your clients i've been using it with my clients for years and let's get to it so i'm going to open up my bag here the reason i have this is because th these are the kinds of exercises that i prescribed the experimental group and the control group in the study that we performed over the past couple of years and we ultimately used bands just like this and this is my hypoxics kit i'm actually um i should have it for sale within the next year i'm an early stage entrepreneur so all of these things happen much more slowly than i would like that being said i'm excited for it to come out because we also have the ab ribbon and this little guy and we have all of our bands let me actually show you all the bands here this is actually cool because it's these spaghetti bands that go into the door and all of my online classes use this to some level of course i prescribe you a different kit right now until we actually have the kit available but this is great because we have we can use bands progressively to increase strength in the body you really really can you just need to do it smartly and just know that the resistance increases as you pull away from the door anchor, yada, yada. But I have all that in mind as we go through the exercises. Um, here's my ab ribbon. I'm actually going to put my ab ribbon on so I can show you the effect of the breathing with the, um, with the exercises. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to start with a little body weight squat as a warm up. But I'm going to teach you, I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty, the specifics of breathography, but I'm just going to cue you with a two second inhale and an eight second exhale through pursed lips. And I want you to actually blow pretty hard because I want you to move to a place called low lung volume. Let's just practice the breathing right now. So we're gonna inhale through the nostrils, one, two. Exhale for eight, loosening the ab ribbon. You don't have one yet, maybe, probably. I want you to imagine you're loosening ribbon around the waist as you blow out through pursed lips for eight seconds. Let's go. I loosened it, 
Now I'm very conditioned with this breathing because I've been doing it for a long time. So you probably saw my obliques engage, which is a nice aesthetic benefit you get from doing this breathing method. All that I want you to focus on is loosening the ribbon while we do this. So I'm gonna grab a band. You don't even have to start with a band, but I just wanna show you what you can progress up to. Start this exercise without a band whatsoever. But we're gonna get a little total body here where we start down in chair pose and we go out, curl, in release so we're also getting that brain in let's just practice a few times you're just nasal breathing here let's just get the rhythm of the movement before we add the breath into it this is what i call i work attentional control a lot in my workouts because i'm very passionate about continuously working the brain in every single exercise that we do so i call this cognition work i have a whole series i call cognition cardio where we really challenge the brain with the breath up down let's do the other side let's warm it up same repetitions on both sides release down <laughs> i actually messed it up we go out curl down release out this is really working the glutes when you get the band with it so you get your biceps and your glutes deep curl down release let's just do four more because i really want you to get this it's feeling moderately hard right just wait until you add the breath and you feel that increase in co2 in the body in and out curl in now take an inhale through your nostrils and here we go blow out through pursed lips until i say stop Inhale, inhale, same side. Inhale, other side. Inhale, inhale. Ooh, now let's just hold the squat. I'm gonna hold the squat, underhand grip. If you have a band or a towel, even a hand towel, so you can pull something apart, I just want you to hold the squat and I want you to pulse down. We're gonna now we're gonna do that same breathing pattern. Close your eyes for this one. You're just pulse pulsing in the band out. I'm not gonna close my eyes because I'm on a very unstable boat. <laughs> inhale, inhale. Inhale, inhale. Loosen the ribbon. Oh my gosh, my rotators are killing me. I'm feeling that carbon dioxide rising in my system, which is a good thing. That's called hypercapnic training and we are adapting to this. This is wonderful, this is what we want. I'm 42 years old, I've had two kids. I know that my body composition is better than it was 10 years ago. And I honestly haven't changed a lot with my exercise structure. You know, I've, I've been a, um, a certified personal trainer for uh, 20 years at this point. And so I've always used the principles of periodization, you know, training endurance, training strength, you know, even periodizing my cardio, which just means planning the cardio and working at various intensities, blah, blah, blah. I'm covering all the points. My only shift is that I started adding in this breathography technique as I was, while I was pregnant with my, um, with my second child, with, with, um, with my daughter. And she's, um, she's four. She actually just turned four a few months ago. And it was amazing. My second pregnancy was much better than my first. No pain after pregnancy. Pregnancy was much easier, which usually the second one is easier. So I can't attribute that to the breathography. But I'm certain that training this way while I was pregnant and after pregnancy helped with my core so much, but not only my core, my body composition is much, much, much better. Better body composition in my legs, um, the backs of my legs for sure. I can see that I, that I have better muscle tone in my glutes and my quads. And now much more research is needed. So I'm not gonna be that like, you know, slimy salesperson who's like, my method did all this and here's exactly why. There are many questions as to why this is happening, but I can tell you that anecdotally, 
over the past couple of years since I've gone online, I've seen some pretty outstanding, unbelievable results, even in individuals like myself who had a lot of previous experience with exercise and were fit coming in. And the only change they made was combining, whoa, <laughs> the breath work with exercise. So I just want to share this with you because I do want to share this with many more individuals and I'm very excited about it. Um, and I really hope that you join the free community so that I can talk to you about it on there. All right, have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.